hello students in this video we will implement our next practical that is practical number 7 from programming with python subject here title of practical is write a python program to perform following operations on tuples here we have to create tuple access tuple value update tuple value and delete the values from the tuple so here let's start from practical related questions so practical related questions there are three questions so first here define empty tuple write syntax to create empty tuple tuple means what we cannot change the values of tuple so tuple is called as immutable list is mutable in list we can change the values but here it is not possible for tuple so how to define an empty tuple here I written definition of tuple tuple refers a collection of object in Python which are ordered and can't be changed here objects refer string list tuple and integer here question is for empty tuple what is empty tuple so here I written the answer we can create an empty tuple by using empty parenthesis means there are no values means there are no values right so here this is the syntax you have to specify tuple name and equal to sign and then open close parenthesis that is round bracket here i created one empty tuple name as p so here p is created with round bracket here no values are there first i want to type print the type of my p and then print the value of p so when i execute this program a dot py so that time two output are shown first one represent the type of my p that is tuple and here there are two no values so empty brackets are represented by second print okay so this is the program for empty tuple here i extend this answer i created one tuple having some values so how to create tuple with values so you have to specify tuple name and your values are separated with comma enclosed within round bracket so here i created three more tuples so see this program in this program i created p tuple having three integer values q tuple having three string values and r tuple having integer string and float value so tuple can hold different value at the same time or same value at a time so here i print the type of p q and r and then i want to print the contents of p q r so here i will run this program so simply type your program name dot py so here first three print type prints the type of pqr so tuple tuple and tuple the next print p p is printed 10 20 and 30 so 10 20 and 30 is printed pune mumbai nagpur second tuple is printed by q and r tuple is printed here 45 goa and 340 40. so here this is the example of tuple having values so next question write a syntax to copy specific element existing tuple into new tuple so here i created one tuple for that here i created one tuple having some values here a tuple is created having some values 1 2 3 4 5 and here i created b tuple and now inside b tuple i pass the some two values here my first tuple name is 2 a and index value is 2 so at the index position 2 3 is stored so inside b tuple first value is 3 and what is the value of a of 4 that is 5 so 5 is replaced with a of 4 so here i print a tuple first and here i print b tuple so save this program and run So here we will get 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 and from this a tuple I copied 
two specific values by using tuple name and index so b contains 3 and 5 so this is the answer of second program then next and syntax so what is the syntax for that so here i written a syntax you have to use new tuple name is equal to old tuple name and index value you have to pass index value so here new tuple name is b old tuple name is a and here i pass index value of that tuple so it is copied inside b tuple okay so second question is completed next question compare tuple with list any four points so here i mention the mention the difference list is mutable means we can modify the list tuple is immutable we cannot modify the tuple list consumes more memory tuple consumes less memory next values written inside a square bracket for list for tuple we can written a value inside round bracket or there is no need to mention the brackets also fourth difference we cannot use list objects for key values for dictionary but we can use key values for dictionary as a tuple because tuple cannot change right keys are constant so this is the four points for list and tuple difference so this is the answer of third question next next is exercise there are again three questions asked first question create a tuple and find minimum and maximum number from it so here i created one tuple name as a and i find out maximum and minimum value from that tuple so see here a tuple is created enclosed within round bracket values and set all values are separated by comma here i want to find out maximum value so here inside print statement first i print one message maximum value enclosed within double quotation sign after comma here i perform max function and max function search maximum value from a tuple so it will print maximum value here then i want to search minimum value so minimum function is used it will search minimum value from a tuple save this program and now execute here we will get output as maximum value is 97 and minimum value is 10 so this is the program and output for second question next sorry this was the first question next question write a python program to find repeated items of a tuple here we have to create one tuple having some repeated values so here i created one tuple name as t and i perform count function on that tuple see here my tuple value contains 10 20 10 10 20 here 10 is stored three times so inside print statement print function total occurrences of 10 values here this is my message value and here after that comma t is a tuple name and i perform count function having value 10 so it will count how many times 10 will be occurred in the t tuple so it will print 3 so check the output for that so here we will get the output total occurrences of 10 values as 3 so this is the program and output for second question next question print the number of words for example what if my number is 1 2 3 4 then we will get an output 1 2 3 4 in words so here i created one tuple having some string values right here and here i use while loop to convert this number into words so see here so see here i created one tuple name as a and i mention all the all the combinations of word from 0 to 9 so here i mention all the text data for my digits 0 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 so a tuple contains this text data 
here I created one empty tuple name as B so B sorry this is list because here list get change list is mutable so that's why here I am going to use list these values are fixed so I am going to use A for tuple and B for list so here I ask the user enter your number and that number integer value is stored inside n variable here I use while loop whenever n is greater than 0 that time your while loop will be executed here inside R your first this calculation is done n mod 10 means suppose my value is 1 2 3 4 so mod operator returns reminder so value is 4 so a of 4 what is the a of 4 0 1 2 3 4 a of 4 is 4 so this 4 is stored inside r then i divide my number value with 10 so if my number value is 1 2 3 4 then quotient will be written inside n so n is updated with quotient that is 1 2 3 and here inside r your string value is mention that is 4 so 4 is stored inside b here i use append function because while loop executed number of times so new value is added at the last in the b list so when i given the value suppose 2 3 so inside b it contains 3 first and then 2 so this is actually wrong we wa we want answer 2 3 so here I perform reverse function on B list so it will reverse and gives me correct output inside B so now check this output save your program and run it so here I enter number 1 2 3 4 and now here my list contains 1 2 3 4 okay so this is the program and this one is output for your third question next so here exercise is completed we will see our next practical that is practical number 8 in next video please share this video with your friends so they can easily understand programming with python thank you